So uh, let's look at hypothesis in Moodle. So I'm in my course Poetry 101. I've got uh, some different sections here, Massachusetts Poets uh, section of Winter Poems, a section just on John Ashbery. I can go into the Winter Poems section. And basically what the Hypothesis app allows you to do, it allows me to create annotated and annotatable readings. So uh, this is a hypothesis enabled reading. It's created from a website from poetryfoundation.org. It's a Mary Oliver poem. And it has a couple student annotations on top of it already. This is the hypothesis sidebar here. Otherwise, this looks like the original text as it does on the, on, on the web. But this is the annotation pane. I can, as I showed you, close it. I can hide the annotations if I don't if I want to read the poem without those highlights. I can create a page note, which is an annotation that's sort of that's unattached to specific text within the document. Great place to put a head note or a prompt if you're using this in education. Mostly this is about word by word, phrase by phrase annotation. You can see that when I select text, I can, I'm given the option of highlighting, which is private, or annotating, which can be public or private. I have the option of either making that a personal note or share it with my class. And I can type something interesting in the uh, annotation pane. I've got the ability to add tags, uh, which can be a really cool thing pedagogically, and also for organizing those portfolios, organizing the archive of annotations that accrue over time in a course or in individuals reading. And I have these rich text formatting options here. So I can do things like italicize or do pull quotes, add links, which is a, a neat feature, or images. I can also drop in YouTube videos and even use math language, uh, latex math, math language. So lots of cool functionality to make these annotations really rich media objects rather than just uh, you know marginal notes as, as we've known them to be scribbles in, in, the, in, the, in the white you know sides of the page these can be with images and video quite rich uh, you know documents of of reading and thinking here I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through the process of adding a, a hypothesis enabled reading let me turn editing on and I'll go ahead and add an activity or resource it's an external tool and give it a name. Hypothesis has been installed for me by the LMS administrator in this case. So I select it. I don't have to enter the key in secret. All that stuff is done previously. I'm going to save and display. And then the final step before it's ready for students to annotate or others to annotate um, is to choose my document. And right now I have two choices. I can go and grab something from the web uh, or I can go and uh, authorize a, a Google account and grab something from my Google Drive or upload something in the process. So I could right now go ahead and upload uh, something from my desktop or I can grab something that's already in my, in my Google Drive like this PDF from a, you know, academic journal. It looks like an academic book and I can select text on that as I did before and create annotations. 